Hey guys, what is going on? Crunch 15 here, back with more backyard baseball. Um, probably should be stepping up the game. Uh, first of all, Happy New Year, Happy everybody. Our first game of the 2017 season brings us to halfway. I think we've been doing this series since I think November. I think. But at any given rate, we are back home on our home field. The last two games have been kind of dismal. Only, uh, only because, uh, we've been playing at, in places where we can't hit home runs, and we had the Tin Can Alley the one time, and then we were at the Paveway, I think, the Construction Yard or whatever, but in, needless to say, we were back home. Today we were playing the Montreal Expos, and let's get ready to play ball. And the Montreal Expos are first up to bat. Here comes Jorge Garcia, the first baseman, through halfway in the season. He is batting 212. Angie DeVecchio, she has been a monster on the mound this whole season. Comes up with the first pitch. He tried the bat open, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. The game is underway. She kicks the delivery. Strike two, swing and a miss again. Looked like she was looking for a high one in there. Got him looking. Got him swinging, rather. Taking a little bit of time to figure out the 0-2. There she goes. And it's a little grounder over to Stephanie Morgan. Oh, but she missed the ball. A throw to first, not in time. Er, and Jorge Garcia is on with a single. Jane Davis, the second baseman, comes up. She's batting 437. That's a pretty nice number to be batting halfway into the year. The pitch from Angie. Strike one. Oh, Jane, a little disappointed in the call, but she accepts it. Goes to a closed stance. Going to be interesting to see. Angela with the delivery, the L1. Whacked, hit hard, but foul to the left side. Here comes the 0-2 from Angela DeVecchio. Little grounder over to shortstop. Stephanie had a hard time getting it. Not going to get it this time either. And Stephanie was playing back behind second. I wonder if she was anticipating maybe a throw. And just like that, the Expos with two on and no outs here in the top of the first. Fred Benson comes up to the plate. He's batting 5-16. Each batting average has steadily got better throughout the lineup. Benson will take a swing and a miss for strike one. And the Bombers, who are 5-1, and one, lead their division two games up. And an early swing puts Benson behind the count at 0-2. Looking for her first strikeout and out of the day. Popped up to Jacinda Smith in left or right field, under it, and she makes the catch, throws it over to second, the tag not in time, Benson had already rounded at first, he thought Jacinda may have was going to miss that, but Jacinda catches the first out of the day, and here comes Fabienne Callahan, Fabian, is it Ann or Ayn? Fabi, we're going to say Fabian. Fabian Callahan, batting 333. Here comes the pitch. And she'll take strike one. Jorge right on second. And you got, Jane Day, you got Jane over there on first. And swing and a miss brings up 0-2. This is the fourth batter or a third batter out of the four that Angela's faced where she's gotten them in the 0-2 and she just cannot seem to get them struck out. And the pitch, that time she did. Out number two, results in a strikeout. And now Angela's back on top of the board. Here comes Vladimir Guerrero doing a little bat flip. He's batting 321, the right fielder. He's a, he's a pretty difficult hitter to pitch to. You never know what he's going to do. He hits a liner over to center, but Keisha going to be all over it. Gets the basket catch made. 
And that's the third out, and that ends the top of the first. Two hits, and then three straight outs. Angela fell behind, but she capitalized. <clears throat> Here comes Korang, the left fielder. He's batting 444 in the season. To Stacy Gordon, the pitcher. First pitch from Stacy. Little blooper, that's grounded. Gonna be a close play, and Stacy can't make the play to first. Korang just too quick. And he's on first with the single. Little blooper back to the mound. And here comes Ernie Steele. <laughs> Batting 280 on the season for the first baseman. He has got his share of outs for their team. And he'll take strike one on the outside, swinging a miss. The pitch. And that's whacked to center. But it could be caught straight away. And there's the first out. The throw back to the infield was kind of weak, but they get on top of it and one away. Kind of looks similar to Vladimir Guerrero's line drive in the top. There comes Maria Luna. Very underrated, but if she can make contact, she's a monster at the plate. And she'll take a swing and a miss, strike one. They tend to pitch inside to Maria, and she doesn't normally like that. She's batting 296 on the season. And she'll take strike two on the outside. 0-2, oh and, and she's falling behind. Kerrang on first. Little grounder. Kerrang was already given the sign to steal. Jorge throwing it to second, not in time, and Maria's on with the single. And one out and two on. Starting to look like the Expos at their first at-bat. But here comes big bad Keisha Phillips. Batting 480 at the plate, the center fielder. Having a monstrous year. And just like that, a little blooper over to the left side. This one may look like... And just like that, the bases are loaded. The third baseman. They're having a hard time tracking the baseball in the dirt. It is a nice sunny day. Here comes Angela Dovecchio. She's batting 458. Boy, she would love to get her team up on the board. With just one out. Base is loaded. Bottom of the first. And that's going to be whiffed up. Probably an inside and field fly rule. And just like that, Angela goes down. Here comes Jacinda Smith. Can she drive home a run? Stacy Gordon, the pitch, and strike one. Swung a little room for Jacinda. Batting 304, she, she'd be one to tell you that she's not having a good year. And that's right back to the pitcher's now, but it took a slight curve. And then he's not going to get home in time. And just like that, Jacinda gets an RBI, and the Bombers are up one run. And now this is a guy that... You don't want to pitch to you in these full bloated bases scenarios. Here comes Amir Khan, the catcher. He's going to hit a little nubbler. Back to the shortstop. Jacinta's going to have a hard time running it. And now she's going to get out. But just like that, the bombers strike first. And we go to the top of the second.